So I've been playing around recently with um, a nice bit of software, um, Open Broadcast Software. It's a piece of free open source software which allows you to um, quite easily um, set up video streams um, to all sorts of different services and one of the uh, things that makes it really easy to do is to broadcast to Facebook Live directly from your desktop rather than having to use a mobile device. Um, so that means that if you've got some sort of video stroke audio capture um, device, you can you can uh, you can stream a live event, um, do video switching, um, add graphics, inlays, whatever you want, um, take audio streams from various places and push that into a um, a Facebook Live video. Um, so I've been trying to get this working nicely. Um, it's quite a nice, simple piece of software, um, but one of the areas where I've been really struggling with it is um, in getting audio syncing working right. Um, it seems that with most, uh, in fact, all of the audio and video um, sources that I've been testing with, there's always a delay um, on the audio. There's quite a lot of latency between seeing the video and then hearing the audio that should be synced with it. Um, and it's not that easy to uh, fix that using the interface. Now it has some tools for um, being able to put delays um, on the audio, um, but being able to actually monitor that and test it and to get it right before you start streaming um, has proven to be a little bit difficult. So I've been trying to figure out the easiest way of doing that. Um, and the key to that has been that I've I think I figured out that um, depending on whether you're um, streaming um, or whether you're recording, and those are the two main functions in this software, you can record to your desktop or you can stream to a service like Facebook, um, I believe that the latency is the same for those two things. Um, so if your audio um, is delayed when you're recording to the desktop, um, you can be pretty sure that it's the same amount of late latency, the same amount of delay when you come to stream. So that's been the key to trying to figure out how to get things set. So let me try to demonstrate what I mean. Um, this might not be entirely clear because I'm recording the screen here as well, so there might be latency there um, and the frame rate might have dropped, but um, trust me, I'm going to try and demonstrate it as best as I can. Um, so I've got everything set up with pretty standard settings here. So in my preferences, uh, what have we got here? Uh, my output, I've got a uh, Facebook live stream set up. Um, my output is uh, pretty basic. I've got a low bit rate just because I've been testing on a crappy connection here today. Um, and I've got a, a fairly standard um, 720 canvas setup. Um, so nothing else out of the ordinary here. And all I'm doing with this at the moment is I've got a really basic setup. I'm just recording um, uh, the video and audio input um, directly from this Mac. So what do we get if I just start recording now? So I'm just going to record a segment of me speaking and then that's going to record to the um, hard drive and then we'll be able to watch that back. So it's recorded it over here. So I'm just going to play this back now. So I'm just going to record a segment of me speaking and then that's going to record to the um, hard drive. Okay, so what should be obvious there, I hope, is that the audio is way ahead of the video. Okay, um, There's a big delay between hearing the audio and then seeing my lips move. Um, so that's a bit crap, really. Um, so we're going to try and fix that. And the way that you fix this is through the audio mixer, which you can bring up here. So depending on what um, audio inputs you've got um, and what audio channels uh, you're using, um, you can configure various different things for each of those. So I just got one channel here um, because I'm just pushing through um, the audio coming from my Mac. And over here, we have this little um, sync offset. Okay, Now you can put this as either a positive number, so say 500 milliseconds will be half a second, or you can put a negative if you really want to as well, but we don't want to do that, because what we actually want to do here is we want to be able to slow down that audio. We want to put a delay on it so that it gets synced up with the video. So let me demonstrate that in its extreme. So let me put this at 2000 milliseconds, okay? 
actually we'll put it at a little bit more so it's blatantly obvious 5000 milliseconds okay so what that means is it's going to pause the audio before playing it for five seconds okay so let's just close that and now I'm going to record again okay so this is going to be another recording of me speaking again and you should hear me much much later than you'll see in my lips move okie dokie so let's watch that clip and see what that looks like just close that and now I'm going to record again okay so this is going to be another recording of me speaking again and way out of sync completely screwed up there um, because I've taken it to the extreme um, now what we actually want to do here I'm going to take a pump from my experience of playing with these sorts of things um, and having uh, any kind of latency in the past I'm going to take a pump that this is 300 milliseconds so that's nearly a third of a second um, of delay that I'm going to put on the audio Okay, and I'm going to record one more now and what I'm hoping this is going to do is it's going to put the audio in sync with my lips moving so let's give this one a go and see whether I've actually got it right or not. So that's now recorded to the hard drive, and I'm going to play back what I've just recorded. My lips moving. So let's give this one a go and see whether I've actually got it right or not. Quickly, because this isn't a great camera, um, it's a little bit jittery, the frame rate's a bit all over the place, but it's almost there. You could do some tweaking. Now, now that I've got those settings there, I can be pretty sure that if I now start to stream using these settings, everything's going to be in sync. Um, it's a little bit, I wish it was a little bit easier than that. Um, I wish there was some, some way of monitoring the output, so other tools like um, uh, Livestream's Wirecast allows you to do um, a little bit better monitoring. Um, it's, it's, it's iffy because you're, the audio that's coming in appears to be right in the monitor that I'm seeing um, down here um, it's when it's actually being processed and put out um, so a little bit of trial and error that you've got to do but at least it means that you don't have to do it while you're streaming um, and that's how you get your audio and video syncing in uh, OBS